Move sail. Segel nieder. More sail. Segel up. Drop the sail. Hold on, good sir. <laughs> How curious. One who wanders widely and has traveled far will learn the scope of mankind's nature and discover common sense. Is anyone home? This is not a natural quiet. It's as if a curse has befallen this place. Ornir Dimir. Ornir Dimir. Wonder where they've gone. <laughs> Emir was killed.
must be the pack that Ordney had quarreled with. He went to face them. Ordnir, your worst fears realized. But your death will not be in vain. Island. I should leave this place. Survey the area, Sunan. I'll turn to ice if I stay here. Sail out! Show me. Back to the ship. Let the sail out! Seagull! 
Sing, my ravens.
Good hard! Let's get out of here! You have courage! Which Jarl? He has been taken by bandits! Come quickly! A Jarl taken by bandits! If you are as brave as you appear, you will come! 
The Jarl will be grateful. Trust me. Yeah. Hurry, or they will kill him. Kill him? Do they not want a ransom? Just hurry. We are near. Go, go on. They are up ahead. You know where they are. You lead. Fine. Follow me. This pathetic gamble has cost them their lives. They threatened to kill me if I did not help. So to save your life, you led others to their death. Our village was burned by Kjotve the Cruel. We had to flee to the forest. Those who survived grew mean and desperate. Olaf, one of the men you killed, said we had to fight for our land. But he only wanted to kill for silver. There was no need for this fight. Kjotve is dead by my hand. I have lifted his boot from your neck. Olaf, you lifeless fool! You almost murdered our rescuer! Your second mistake was choosing me as your prey. That was not a mistake. Y you looked like a good fighter. I, I was hoping you would kill or weaken Olaf so I could escape. You are young and still foolish, so I will spare you your life. But cross me again, or harm anyone I cherish, and you will join your friends in Helheimer's foul forests. Y you will never see me again. Uh, I will be a white rabbit in the snow. Huh? 
Can't raise the sail here. Can't raise the sail yet. Good sailing wind. More here, sail. We need an epic tale. Unor the Ugly was an excellent sailor who could pilot a longship entirely on his own. This is why King Sigvaldi kept him around. In all other matters, Unor was a cruel, anxious, and humorless man. He was one of the most unlikable people I have ever known. One year, I recall we had invited some carls from the Ingling clan to dine with us. As we were serving we ale, we came to find that we had none left. It so happened Sail out. that the ale had run out just before reaching Unar's horn. This re Word stormed, and he accused Sigvaldi of treachery. Every man in the longhouse jeered at Unar for raising such a fuss. This made and he stormed out. A short time later, we heard him yelling through the door of the hall. I set this scorn pole upon the men of Ingling for their dishonor. We looked outside and saw that Unar had severed one of the heads of the Ingling's horses and stuck it upon a hazel branch. When he saw us gathering at the door, the Ingling carls among us, Unar panicked and ran. He was not seen for many months. <laughs> Let's put her in here.
Let's get out of here. Run up the sail! Hush now. Water that they cooked. Well, come in after, Steerman. Sail! Sail. Catch the wind! Sail. Sail. What do you see, Sunan? Who will share a tale? Have you heard me tell the tale of the six Christian missionaries I lured away from their faith into the worship of Almighty Thor? You showed them how to turn the crosses into hammers, simply by flipping them over. And they fainted with joy. That tale? Uh, yes. Go, Sunan. Oh. Or it was. 
was home once. Now it is nothing but bone. When father first showed me this passage, I was so excited. I won every game of hide and fetch after that. Kjotvis dogs miss this. Show me what lies ahead. Hey, Lord! Go at us, you Let the sail out! Let's hear a story. Here's a tale to tickle your sides. The winter before, I was drinking in Stavanger with some companions. With us in the Mead Hall were men of Bard Jarl's clan, one of which was a poet named Halli, called Sarcastic Halli by most. Seven ale horns into his night, Halli stood upon his table and called across the room to another man, a skald named Chudolf. Chudolf, he yelled. I can compose a more beautiful poem with Reap my purging than you could with your tongue and fine words. The room laughed. Save it. I'll turn twice if I stay here. Run up the sail! Strike up a tune. Pick up. Need to row our way out. What do you think you're doing? Uh. 
Let the sail out. Sail. Sail.